juraré. The Venezuelan president Nicolas Maduro is facing the largest wave of protests against his government. The main opposition grievance is crime. The country has one of the highest homicide rates in the world. There is also a 50% rate of inflation and the scarcity of staple products, such as milk, sugar and toilet paper. The president issued laws to increase state control over the economy, but these have failed to ease discontent. On February the 12th, students took to the streets in several cities to demand the release of classmates who were arrested during previous anti-government protests. Some opposition leaders joined the demonstrations, which were largely peaceful, but during violent clashes in Caracas, two students and a government supporter were killed. The authorities blamed infiltrators from fascist groups, but the opposition is pointing the finger at pro-government armed militias. Opposition leader Leopoldo López has become a prominent figure within the opposition, which has a divided vision on the ways to protest. However, they all strive for the same thing, radical changes in government. The prosecutor's office issued an arrest warrant against López for his participation in the demonstrations, but López denies any wrongdoing. The events of the past week leave Venezuela with tough challenges and a long road to stability.